let's study in detail adjective and its kind there are many kinds of adjectives like quantitative qualitative number demonstrative interrogative possessive distributive article as adjective coordinate adjective indefinite predicate proper adjective and so on but here we will study the six most important adjectives and they are adjective of quality adjective of quantity adjective of number demonstrative adjective interrogative adjective possessive adjective i will explain you one by one let me first define you what is an adjective words that are used to describe a noun or a pronoun is called adjective an adjective can add color and life to your sentence here let me explain you with an example when i say manju is a girl so with this we are not describing the girl we are not getting any idea about what kind of girl is manju but when i say manju is an intelligent girl then we have an idea we get a clear picture that the quality of manju is intelligence she is an intelligent girl when i say there is a pen it is a simple statement and it is not describing the pen but when i say there is a blue pen i am giving a brief description about the pen that the pen is of blue color so what is an adjective adjective is a word that are used to describe a noun or a pronoun here the words intelligent blue are used as adjective Let's take the first adjective that is adjective of quality. Adjective of quality is also referred as descriptive adjective. Quality means character of some person or you may say thing. Description about the person or a thing. It is defined as it expresses the kind or quality of a person or a thing let's take an example i have a nice doll when i say nice this word nice is describing the doll what all words can i use here to describe the doll that is i can say i have a we cute doll i have a beautiful doll it is awesome so these words here nice cute awesome beautiful are all adjective of quality that is describing the character of this doll the question that is answers is what kind of character when you get the answer for this question it means it is adjective of quality other words that are adjective of quality are honest bulky smart kind thin brave intelligent so adjective of quality tells you about the kind or quality of a noun next is adjective of quantity now don't get confused with quality and quantity they are two entirely different terms quality tells you about the character of a noun or pronoun while quantity tells you about the amount about the amount of a noun or a pronoun keep in mind quantity 
will not tell you the exact number of anything. Okay, let's define it. These adjectives tell us how much quantity or amount of noun or pronoun. Second point, however, they do not provide exact number. They will only tell you the quantity in lump sum. They will not provide you the actual number of noun or pronoun. For example, there is not much water in the bottle. With this word not much, this is the adjective used here. This will not give us a clear picture of the amount of water present in the bottle. It may be one ounce, two ounce, half liter, whatever it could be. But it won't give a clear picture about the amount of water in the bottle. Or we may say there is enough water in the bottle. Again, you won't get the clear picture of amount of water in the bottle. I have enough money. I have some money. I have very little money. I have more money. So this gives the quantity in bulk. But it won't mention how much exactly. The number it won't tell you. The question that it answers is how much. The other adjective of quantity are much, enough, all, little, more. Next is adjective of number. Number here states that something you can actually number or you can count. Adjective of number tells you the exact number of noun or pronoun unlike adjective of quantity which only gives you the quantity not the number. Let's define it. Adjective of number are the words that tell us the exact number of noun or pronoun. Example, there are 16 apples in the basket. Here, the number 16 is adjective of number because it is, tell, it is telling you how many apples are there exactly in the basket. Next example, he came first in the class. Here the word first again referring that is to he was first in the test that was conducted. If you have only one apple, you can say instead of I have one apple, you can say I have an apple. Here the article an is used as an adjective. These are called article as adjective. If I ask you how many chocolates are there in the refrigerator? You can exactly tell if there is any. There are four chocolates in the refrigerator. The number four will be the adjective of number here. So, and 10, 25, first, second, they all are adjective of number. Next is demonstrative adjective. The adjectives that indicates or points out a particular noun or pronoun are called demonstrative adjective. So any word that indicates or points out anything, any particular noun or a pronoun, they are called demonstrative adjective. For example, this book is mine. So here, this is pointing the particular book which belongs to me. Some more examples of demonstrative adjectives are that, those and these. But here, 
I would like to mention that in pronouns too, there is demonstrative pronoun. Example of demonstrative pronouns are also this, that, these and those. How we are going to differentiate which is demonstrative adjective and which one is used as demonstrative pronoun. Here, I will give you a simple example with which you can easily categorize them. Demonstrative adjective. This book is mine. And demonstrative pronoun. This is my book. Here, in the first sentence, this is demonstrative adjective, while in the second sentence, this is a demonstrative pronoun. Now, tell me why. Okay, let me explain. When this is placed just before a noun, when the adjective is placed just before a noun, it is a demonstrative adjective. While in the second sentence, this is placed just before is. Is is a verb. So, when this is placed just before a noun, it is demonstrative adjective. And when this is placed just before a verb, it is demonstrative pronoun. So, we can say in short, when the adjective is accompanied by a noun, it is demonstrative adjective. When the word this is accompanied by a verb, it functions as a demonstrative pronoun. Only thing you have to keep in mind for demonstrative adjective is this is immediately followed by the noun book. This book is mine. And here, this is is a verb. So, this is demonstrative pronoun. Fifth one is interrogative adjective. Interrogate means to ask question. To ask question. These are WH words which are used with nouns to ask some question. Let me define it. WH words like what, which, who, whose used to ask questions and accompany nouns are called interrogative adjectives. The most important thing is it has to accompany noun. These WH words have to immediately followed by a noun. Then only it will be an interrogative adjective. For example, which bouquet do you want to buy? Here you know bouquet is actually bunch of flowers. So it is a collective noun which is followed by a collective noun. So, we can say here which is used as an interrogative adjective. Which bouquet do you want to buy? The most common mistake regarding interrogative adjective is confusing them with interrogative pronoun. This is because these WH interrogative adjectives can also function as interrogative pronouns. An easy way to be sure whether you are dealing with interrogative adjective or interrogative pronoun is to check whether the question word is immediately followed by a noun. For example, let us take this one. Which book is yours? Here you can see the WH question word which is immediately followed by the noun book. Which book? As soon as which is accompanied by the noun, you can straight away say it is an interrogative adjective. While in the second sentence, which WH questioning word is followed by is, which is a verb, which 
is. So here noun is not there. Immediately you can say it is not an interrogative adjective. It is an interrogative pronoun. Which is your book. The other interrogative adjectives are what, why, who, where, which, whose, how. And the last one is possessive adjective. Let me define it. These are the words that are used to show ownership. Possessive adjectives always accompany nouns that they qualify. Possessive adjectives always accompany the noun that they qualify. Let me take an example. He is my friend Neil. When I say my friend, that means I have a relationship with this friend. And this my is immediately followed by noun that is friend. So, and second example, Shalu is posing with her brother. Here again her is showing the relationship with the noun, Aryan. They are with their parents. Here, my, her, they are all showing some relationship or ownership. Or when I say this is my pen. Then here again, my is followed by noun. So it is showing the position or the ownership of the pen that the pen belongs to me the other positive adjectives are his its your are i hope with this you understand the different types of adjectives thank you